So I guess you could call this video the truth about garden sprinkler systems. <laughs> uh, there's lots of YouTube videos out there. This is just another one of them. The truth about this or that. So without any sensationalist rubbish, let me turn the sprinkler off because my brakes are getting wet. And we'll talk a bit more about this because this will save you a lot of time, money and heartache if you're uh, considering one of these. So the need is to water the garden while I'm away. Fairly simple. You think, okay, I'll chuck in, uh, I'll chuck in some irrigation system. Uh, you can get a time a timer that will turn on your water through an app on the internet when you're remotely. Set schedule through an app, great. Ah, nice and simple, not too difficult to install. Um, pop up sprinklers, 75 quid and screw fister. And uh, yeah, I think you get about five of them, these little things. You just run holes in between them. There's like T pieces, L pieces. Um, and you get this 13 mil kind of hose, which is better than a garden hose because it's got no flex in it. So the pressure and flow are retained. So, yeah, fairly simple. You know, I, I, I cut this with secateurs and jam the bits in. So, water pressure, big problem in the UK. These systems are, well, the Kleber systems are designed in Italy. They're all the same. The Kleber stuff's really good uh, from what I can see. No complaints at all. But uh, the problem is, is they, they say they need a water pressure between, well, on the box 1.5 and four bar. Now, 1.5 bar, how many sprinklers can you drive? Well, I reckon this is one bar, uh, what I'm getting here, and the answer is two. So I've got a 360 here, and a 360 over there. Um, I've got a 180 there. I did have plans to spray the whole garden um, with the five, maybe add another couple. Uh, no chance at all. Now, the problem is, is that, and why I'm making this video, is the uh, UK water authorities only have to provide one bar nowadays. It makes sense for them because they get less leaks that way if they run their systems at lower pressure. And you save water. Uh, they save water, we save water. It's actually good for everyone, <laughs> unless you're trying to water your garden or run a big pressure washer. But that's cool. Uh, there's other solutions for this. And it's if you do have to put in irrigation, it's, it's just micro-irrigation. So you run a main pipe, the same tube here, the 13mm, and you tee off it with... Um, thinner tubes with internal diameter 4 mil, so you're retaining pressure and flow and you can do a lot more with that. So yeah, just think very carefully um, about these uh, pop-up systems, they look great, but um, not, that, uh, not that useful if you don't have the water pressure. Plenty of videos out there and guidance on how to measure your water pressure, you, you can do it with a bucket. Um, so yeah, just research it a bit more, otherwise uh, you're, you're going to find something which is so, not that uh, not that suitable for your use case. I'd actually forgotten that I'd shot some videos in these garden sprinklers, these pop-ups. Um, so I thought, uh, this is a few weeks later, and I thought I'd uh, do a little bit more which might be useful to people. So, um, following on from before, two garden sprinklers. I think I've probably got just less than one bar by the time it comes to all the plumbing in the garden. Um, but I'd, I've actually bought some micro-irrigation that I talked about before. This is the sort of four mil tube. So this is what I've done here is this was the tube that I had a the third sprinkler which uh, just brought the whole system down but I've capped it off put a little t-piece on there all stuff that's available lots of it out there and this is the micro irrigation stuff um, and this is a I think a New Zealand system can't remember what it's called I've bought loads of it anyway it was sitting in the greenhouse and thought I'll give this a whirl so that's um, and this this is running really well so um, so there's the two pop-ups um, running on the thicker tube. Then I've teed off here and I've got three of these little micro 360s. And again, like the Claybell stuff, the pop-ups, you can buy uh, ones which have got different spray patterns and do this and that. So uh, these have worked really well. So I've been away for uh, had this running for about a week now. Been away for a week. Came back, cut the grass yesterday. It was well long. And uh, as you can see from the previous video, I'd fart some grass seed down and that's filled in quite nicely so it is getting irrigated and these little ones are doing the job. So hindsight, the, the pop-ups are useful if, you, if you've if you got an area that you need to walk and mow over. However, I think probably what I'd do in the future is uh, just do all the micro irrigation, run the main tube to give the flow, then just tee off at various points and, and run it round the, 
from around the perimeter to spray to spray inwards. Uh, everyone's uh, sort of garden's different, but uh, so just thought this would be sort of a useful little bit to chuck on the end. I hope you found this useful. Saves you a bit of money and heartache. And if you do want the, if you do want to have pop-ups, what I would say is don't buy a, a starter kit with five pop-ups if you've got low water pressure. Um, I would say uh, just buy the buy those individually and the the, the fittings. Um, so if anyone wants to buy three pop-up sprinklers, <laughs> leave a comment below uh, because I think this is this is going to be the way forward as with the rest of the the garden. Um, actually, incidentally, I'll show the the water valve that I'm using here, and this is controlled through a nut. This is called Link Tap, and these systems are pretty good. And um, that's controlled through an app, so when I'm away, I can uh, um, you can control these on schedules and all this sort of stuff. And uh, you buy a gateway which plugs into your router, and uh, the gateway um, communicates wirelessly with these. We've got one one over in the greenhouse as well, and that does some sort of sprinklers. Um, but uh, uh, yeah, that uh, <coughs> yeah, pretty pretty good. Um, I'll probably do another. Another circuit here, push fit plumbing fittings, just take another tee off here, chuck another one in there, and this one I'll keep for what I've got there, and then I'll have another one uh, purely for micro irrigation, um, but we'll do the rest of the garden. So, hi, right. uh, it's uh, hope, uh, hope this has been useful, and uh, chuck in the comments below if anyone has any experience of this, helpful for everyone.